Sophia. Shh. Sophia. What? What are you doing? I'm trying to blend in. Hey guys, this is the movie review show for movie lovers by movie lovers. At the end of the show, we're going to give our own ratings. I'm going to give a number rating, and Isaiah is going to give a letter rating. I'm Isaiah Pena. And I'm Sofia Pereira. And this is Rango. Rango is about a chameleon played by Johnny Depp who gets stranded in the desert um, and runs into a town called Dirt where he has the ability to form a new identity and Western adventure ensues. Yes. And that's basically... That is basically what, what you got. It it's a it's a it's a western. Mm -hmm. It's his story on being a new guy, you know, a new man in a town. He can be anyone he wants. So that's that's his story. The movie is directed by Gore Verbinski, who's responsible for the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Some Johnny Depp. Um, it's re um, he does a really good job of tackling everything that the movie is um, as part of an animation and as part of a western. You have natural lighting sequences. Very dark places are very dark. The, the, bright, the bright places are very bright. Yeah, I um, actually watched it with a digital projector. And like all the colors, they were, they were beautiful. Like The whole animation, it was great. It was wonderful. Everything was really, really neat. Um, like even the Barbie doll in the beginning scene or throughout the whole movie, when you see the Barbie doll, it looked like a real Barbie. Industrial, Industrial Lights and Magic is the company responsible behind um, the, the animation for Rango. They're a visual effects company. This is their first full-length animated feature. I thought the characters were kind of ugly, but they looked really neat. When, when the cameras focused in on the animals, they looked so real, especially um, the gopher. I think, I think he was a gopher, the, the antagonist. Um, you could just see like all the details like on his snout, his whiskers and everything. I have to say like the humans in it were, I, I didn't think that the animation on the humans was as good as the animation on the animals, but it was still, it was still really good. It was still amazing. It felt like Nickelodeon animation. I thought well, of Jimmy Neutron when I saw him. Really? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I that was pure well, Nickelodeon, human. whereas this is like ILM and... I think that was their point with the animals, is to make them look as real as possible. Right. Because, um, you know, no one's going to think a gopher or a gila monster or, or um, a mole is going to look yeah. like, you know, Pixar, DreamWorks, they make those things look cute. They do. But yeah. the fact that I ILM made them look real, it kind of like, I guess it kind of added to the, um, the feel of the movie. Yeah. To yeah. where it's not like, it, it looks as real, but it's in a completely different universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the realism, though, one thing that did bug me a lot were the proportions. The fact that they did mix the, that there were humans and then there were animals, mm -hmm. um, just it did bother me the fact that the proportions would mess up like that, but it didn't bother me as much because I could tell that um, Verbinski's focus was with the, um, with the animals only. Yeah. Overall though, the Rango is, is a great film. Like I couldn't, I couldn't help but like just, I was blown away by it. The visuals, the animation, the, the chase, sequ the action sequences they had were amazing. Yeah, no, I thought out. they were with the bats and the, the whole chase scene. I thought that was, I thought that was good. I was so amazed. I mean, I was pretty much smiling the whole time. Like, yeah, like and said. I thought it was only going to be visual, but other than that, Rango was actually a, a very funny movie. It, it was. It had a lot <laughs> of, not a lot, but there was some adult humor in there that I don't think the children really understood. You know, but uh, it, it was funny. It was funny. I enjoyed it. I really did. And Johnny Depp did a pretty good job behind I, behind the, the microphone. Did. Yeah, I didn't even notice it was him sometimes. <laughs> I just kind of yeah. bought into this chameleon like. Yeah, and, th guy. and that, that's the thing with characters like that. When you have um, a known actor playing a character, you're always thinking of that person. Well, with this, uh, with Rango, I saw Rango. I saw the chameleon. I didn't think about Johnny Depp too much. So yeah, I mean, I, the first scene kind of it kind of I thought there was something. I thought it was going to be typical Johnny Depp weirdness, but it kind of left that. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Uh, I liked how he was so modern. He was so civilized. The character, Rango, you know, mm. he was with his little movie and all the stuff that he did at the beginning. Um, I, honestly, I honestly really liked the character development with Rango, the fact that he was trying to find himself. I thought that this movie really, um, I don't know, it, it gave more than what a regular animation film would have done. 
Like, it didn't really, like, tug on your heartstrings as much as, let's say, like, Monsters, Inc. or something. But I thought it, ha it had a really good message. Like, he was trying to find himself, and he, you know, needed to ma make a new name. And at the same time, it taught the children that were watching, you know, it's not really good to lie, but you, you should try to be a hero, you know, like, do the right thing, pretty much. Yeah. But I think it appealed to both the adults and the children that were watching. Yeah, it. the message wasn't as impacting as you thought it was mm -hmm. going to be, but... Um, nonetheless, Rango is definitely a competitor in um, the film, the animated films mm -hmm. that are coming out this year. I totally so, um, Rango, it's a great, great Western film. Actually, I, I, Westerns are one of my favorite genres, and this just like blew me away. As being a Western, a family film, doing all that, an action movie, um, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Yeah, I liked it as well. Um, I guess I, I'm going to give it an 8. Um, I guess I'm talking in a few points because I'm was really crazy about the proportions but that was just me but I still loved the movie I thought the storyline was great the animation was great everything it had nothing wrong with it except for the proportions which only bugged me I guess you could see other reviews coming up we have one more episode that will be televised and there will be audio reviews on the website the website's www.facebook.com slash this dot is dot uh that's kind of a <laughs> yeah. lengthy weird um website but visit the website there'll be um message us any questions you have there'll be other reviews you can even try a chance to be on a host in upcoming episodes yeah, and there are discussion boards you can chat on the discussion boards post something on our wall go through our wall and you'll see a lot of really cool stuff a lot of links and to, to other movies and videos so. so um look up for the next episode your highness comes out in theaters april 8th yep. i'm isaiah pena and i'm sofia pereira and this is this is rango, rango. all right bye guys Ow! <laughs> what was that for? You're funny looking. Oh yeah? You're funny looking too. That's a funny looking shirt. It's a funny looking dress. You got funny looking eyes. You got a funny looking face! You're a stranger. Strangers don't last long here.